Okay, welcome back to the guide. Uh, we're almost done with the mod page one. Mod installation part one, rather. So let's go ahead and finish that. So, the World of Skyrim Din Dynamic Lod. Let's create that separator. Right click, copy, three dots, create separator, and paste. Okay. Okay, this mod is not completely installed until the executables have been run in the final section of the guide. Yep, that is at the very end when we actually generate all the Dindalod goodness. Okay, so let's go and download uh, the resources. Dindalod resources. Download files. Dindalod resources. Okay, let's right click that. Open up the full mod. So, core files. Next. Visual options. All of them. Click, click, click. Click. Performance options. None. Scroll down. Misc options. Desync birds of prey. And then install. And there's some special instructions here. Delete the following files and our folders. So, textures, lod, snow01lod.dds, and then underscore n.dds. We're going to delete both of those. So right click on Dindalod resources, open an explorer. So textures, LOD, and then just to make this uh, easier to look at, let's click on view and go to list. That's easier for me anyway. So we're looking for snow. So here's snow, snow01, snow01, LOD and LOD underscore N. Go. Go ahead and delete that. Also, um, I don't have file extensions here, so if your system doesn't have file extensions and you're kind of worried that these aren't the right folders because you don't see the .dds, uh, go ahead and click uh, View, Options, and then View again, and then you want to right here, Hide extensions for known file types. We don't want to do that. So unclick that, click Apply, and then there you go. You got all the extensions here. So snow 01 lod.dds and then 01 lod underscore n dot dds. So control click to select both and then uh, press delete or right click and delete. Good. And then activate. Okay. Make sure you have set up Dindalot as per the prerequisites guide. Also make sure you are using the SE version of the mod. And if you follow my videos, you are good to go. HD LODs Textures SE. This mod is a complete retexture of Skyrim, Dawnguard, and Dragonborn LODs. So let's go and download that. Files. And we want which version? Uh, the 1K version. Uh, standard or Dindalod? Good question. Let's go look. We want the Dindalod version. Download. And we are going to delete sse.bsa and sse.esp. So you can install it, then open it up and explore to delete it, but we're going to do it this way. So we're double click manual, and then here it is bsa and .esp. We, wanna, we don't want to install both of these, so uncheck those. So we're just going to install the texture folder. OK. Good. Activate. All right, the next section, world encounters. We're going to extract this BSA. And also, CAO, we're going to run it through a Cathedral Asset Optimizer. So, Falscar. You may have heard of that. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I love it. Okay, it's a pretty big download. Okay, once it download, double click to install. Okay. Extract the BSA. Yes. Pretty big file, so it could take a bit. Okay, once that's done installing, before we activate it, let's go ahead and launch it through Cathedral Assets Optimizer. So, open up your Lexi's Legacy of Dragonborn shortcut. Cathedral's Assets Optimizer, click on Executable. Let's go and close that folder. And now here it says to use the Lexi Legacy of Dragonborn BSA profile. So right now it's on no BSA. Choose BSA. So what this is gonna do it's going to run all the optimizers that it needs to do through that it needs to do for Falscar, and then repack it into a BSA. 
So you don't have to do this, but I like to click on log. I like to see what's going on. And then we gotta point this to to uh, Falscar. So legacies, legacy of Dragonborn folder, mod organizer two, mods, and then scroll down to Falscar. Click it, select folder, and you see here. Make sure the file path is correct, and then run. Yes to all. And let it do its thing. Okay, when that's done, you can just close it out, and you're good. Let's go to us. Uh, let's go ahead and um, activate Falscar. Falscar add-ons and patches. This mod is a collection of tweaks, enhancements, and patches for Falscar. So let's go and download it. Add-ons and patches. Download. Okay. It's a full mod. Let's open up the full mod menu. Bug fixes, bug fixes, next. Bug location patch, ESP Lite. Bug locations patch, ESP Lite. Then unique region names, add on ESP Lite. Unique region names, add on ESP Lite. Then install. Activate. I'm going to and collapse that. Conorix Accoutrements. This mod makes encounters with the named dragon priest a more challenging and rewarding experience. Sounds good. Activate. Conrex Accoutrements Upscaled Textures. This mod upscales the textures from Conrex Accoutrements. And we want COP. <laughs> Main file. And that's a pretty beefy download. Alright, let's go ahead and install it. Excellent. And I haven't endorsed it yet. Let's see if I can. And I can. Good. All right, Moon and Star. By the way, I'm endorsing it by right-clicking it and choosing endorse. Where is it? It'd be right here. It would say endorse. And also, you could actually go to the web page itself and endorse it from here. But if you download it for the first time, it won't let you endorse it right away. Okay, Moon and Star. A mysterious and powerful criminal has been spotted in Skyrim. His trail dogged by hunters from Morrowind. However, there may be more at stake than it seems, and this criminal may be familiar. Alright, let's download it. And there's special instruction. Delete the following files or folder. Moon and star underscore mas dot esp. And we're gonna do it this way. Double click manual. Moon and star underscore dot ESP, this one. Uncheck it. Okay. Do you want to pack the BSA? No. Go and activate it. Then next, Moon and Star Replacer. This mod cleans up. It fixes Moon and Star. Special thanks to Sir Gesto for help on this. Download. Save. So this is actually not from the Nexus. So uh, let's see if we can install through here. Install a new mod from archive. Click that. And there it is, Moonstar Replacer. Open, it just says Moon. So let's scroll down so we get the full title, full name, Moonstar Replacer. Okay. Click it to activate it. Then move path to elsewhere. This mod adds the DLC size quest set in the land of elsewhere. I love Khajiits, they're pretty cool. Download. Pack to BSA? No. Activate. To clean this up. So I'm right clicking and I'm selecting delete installed downloads. Are you sure? Yes. An unofficial moon path to elsewhere patch. This mod is an unofficial patch to resolve various issues with moon path to elsewhere. Let's install it. <laughs> that guy looks cool. Activate. Moon path to elsewhere, sky and lightning fix. This mod fixes the elsewhere daytime, overly bright sky and moon path to elsewhere. Good. And we're going to extract the BSA in this one. And let's make sure we download the right version. The merged 1.3. Merged 1.3. Download. 
download. Okay, install it. Okay. Extract the BSA. Yes. Install. Alright, Moonpath stuck combat music fix. Oh my god, I'm so glad they came out with this mod. First time I played Moonpath elsewhere, this drove me crazy. Excellent. So let's go ahead and download that. Meh. Activate. I'm definitely going to endorse that if I can. And I can. Good. The Great Cal of Nocturnal. I've always installed this, and somehow I've never yet done it. I will definitely do it my next playthrough. For a long time, no one claimed the Great Cal of Nocturnal. The last one was the Champion of Cyrodiil at the ending days of the Third Era. But what happened after, after the Oblivion Crisis? Where is the Great Cal now? You're a thief, and during stealing and pickpocketing items around the world, a vision appears in front of you. The Grey Cowl is calling. The big journey has started. Where will you go now? Many places are waiting for you. Legendary places, mysterious places, ancient places that needs to be cleaned up from the sands of time. The Grey Cowl wants you. Let's download it. Install that. Okay. Extract BSA? No. Activate. Alright, the Great Cal Nocturnal SSC HD Pack. This mod aims to improve overall visual quality of the Great Cal Nocturnal mod by replacing textures by new ones in 2K resolution and BC7 compression. Let's install it. So at this point, you should be very comfortable in installing mods. Great Call Nocturnal, I like here, Floral Overhaul SE. This mod adds a lot of flora in and around the colony, plus some more in the other oasis scattered across the desert, just like what Skyrim Floral Overhaul does for the rest of the game. And we're going to install the main file and an optional file. Okay, so here's the main file. Download. And optional file. The Tree Billboard Lodge-In Kit. And that's a manual download. Meaning it's not going to use Mod Organizer to download it. So, Close that first, let's install the main file. Okay. Do we want to extract a BSA? No, we do not. So activate that. Then click here. Install a new mod from an archive. And here's the Grey, uh, Grey Fox Floral Overhaul tree, tree Billboard. So open it. And it's already fully named, so okay. And then activate that. And then the Grey Cowl Nocturnal SE add ons and patches. So let's download the main fi uh, file. Download. Okay. Okay, there's a full mod. So let's open the instructions. First page, we will download official Sky uh, Special Edition patch. Click. Delayed start patch. Click. Install. The Forgotten City. The Forgotten City offers a unique gameplay experience, a murder mystery investigation set in an underground, ancient underground city. It has a dark, non-linear story in which you'll explore the city in multiple timelines, interrogate suspects, navigate challenging moral dilemmas, and fight new enemies. So let's do that. I've heard so many good things about this mod. I've always installed it, yet I still haven't played it. <laughs> Yeah, at some point, guys, you gotta stop modding and start playing. Do we want to extract the BSA? No. Let's go ahead and activate it. And there's an SSE edit required. Problem. Forgotten City.esp contains seven ITMs identical to master rec records. Solution. Load Forgotten City using SSE edit quick auto clean and let it clean the mod as you would the base ESMs. So if you've forgotten how to do it, this is how you do it. Let's first clear this. Delete install downloads. Go to plugins, just scroll down just so you can see it, Forgotten City. Okay, drop down, SS, E edit, quick, auto clean. Choose it, run it. Then from this window, scroll down, click Forgotten City, then click OK, and then it'll clean it. And that's it. 
Super fast. Modding nowadays is so much, such a dream as compared to when I first got into modding Skyrim. I love these tools. Okay, tools of Kagranak. Go on a quest to recover the legendary tools of Kagranak. Encounter new allies and enemies. Explore sprawling dungeons and add powerful new artifacts and spells to your arsenal in this fully voiced quest mod. So let's download it and install it. Okay, main file. And then install it. Ooh, do we not extract a BSA? No. Worm's Tooth. Worm's Tooth adds a new quest that takes the Dragonborn to the island of Worm's Tooth, situated north of Solitude across the Sea of Ghosts. Good stuff. This is not on the Nexus. So how do we download it? I guess it's right here. Google Drive. We want the SSE version. So right click it. Or left click it, sorry. Then from here, let's download it. Download it anyway. Save it. Close these extra windows. Then when that's done downloading, install the mod organizer. Click here. Here's Worm's Tooth. Open. Already named. Good. Install. Extract to BSA? No. Okay. Now, modified and expanded quests. Let's create that separator. Copy. Create separator. Paste. Okay. Alternate start, live another life. Live another life provides an alternative means to start the game for those who do not wish to go through the lengthy intro sequence of Helgen. Who does? The player will be given the opportunity to choose a race and then a new life to lead. A wide variety of choices will be available. What is chosen will have a lasting impact. So choose carefully or the gods may forsake them again. I always choose to start as Solitude Docks because legendary... Legendary? Legacy of the Dragonborn. I like to start the game that way. That way I have the save files right away. Okay, let's install it. Extract the BSA? No. Activate. Cutting room floor from the depths of the ether, or just a cutting room floor, comes forth several NPCs, some quests, and other miscellaneous content which was created but never implemented in the game. Alright, so cut content. Sounds good. Let's install it. Download. Okay. Extract the BSA? Hmm. No. Next one, we're going to extract that BSA and we're going to convert it. Enhance Skyrim Factions. This mod slows down the Companions quest line. Problem. ESF Companions.esp is in Form 43. Solution, load and save the plugin and creation kit. So let's download it. And full version? Requirements only version. Mm -hmm. We want the requirements only version. So download that one and install it. Okay. And this one, we do want to extract a BSA, yes. Let's go go ahead and activate it. And now, let's open up Creation Kit. Drop down menu, Creation Kit, run. Okay, once Creation Kit is fully loaded, click the open folder, scroll down, double click ESF Companions, set as active, and then okay. Once it's loaded, click save, saving done, and then you're done. Exit. Cool, cool. Even better quest objectives. This mod enhances the quest descriptions in the vanilla game so that the player has a clear sense of where they are supposed to go and what they're supposed to do besides looking at the quest markers. So let's download it. mod. Open up the full mod instructions. Main plugin. Optional files. Yes, we want Dark Brotherhood forever. Two miscellaneous quests. Click. Next. Alright, compatible mods. A little different here. It says compatible mods, but here it's available patches. So we want alternate start, live another life. Already selected for us. Cutting room floor. Cutting room floor. And Parthenax Dilemma. 
Parthenex Dilemma. Parthenex Dilemma by Arthur Moore. One of my favorite uh, mod authors. Install. Okay. Activate. Guild of Green Regrown by Arthur Moore. This mod will make the Guild of Green and White uh, Run grow from the sapling back into full tree over time. Download. Let's install it. Extract the BSA? No. Alright, Helgen Reborn. The definitive quest mod for rebuilding Helgen. Learn the legend of the Keepers of Hatu as you reunite two old soldiers and are thrust into decades-old feud with a ruthless and powerful Justicar or Justicier from the Aldemary Dominion. And we're going to download in the optional files Helgen Reborn SSC uh, version. Click. So, optional files. 106 with loose files. Okay, special instructions. Delete textures, actors, characters, face, gen data, face, whatever. I'll show you how to do it. So let's first install it. Okay, so before we activate it, let's open an explorer. So we're going to into textures, actors, character, face gen, face tint, Elgin Reborn, and then we're going to delete all the files that end in .tga. So you could go in here, this individual click, click, click R, you could click here and search, click star, whoops, star, then dot .tga and hit enter, and it'll just list the TGA folders. And that way you can just easily select the wall. So click the first one, shift, click the last one, right click, delete. And that's it, close the folder and you're good. Activate Hogan Reborn. Okay, Obscure's College of Winterhold. This mod is an expansion and overhaul for the College of Winterhold, including two new towers, a reimagined Arcanium, and a Hall of Elements revised, set dressing, and clutter in many areas. Changes that appear over time, door signs to assist with navigation, and support for many other mods, and not a trace of hay. So let's go ahead and download it. There's a faux mod. Let's go through here. So if this is too tiny, you could always click view images, but I could kind of see it, so I'm not going to. So core plugins, no, nothing to worry about. Immersive college NPCs, do we want that? Yes, we do. So select it, scroll down. In fact, I'm gonna open this up just a bit so I can see a bit more of it. Okay, optional lighting adjustments. We want recommended interiors. Music options. We want new music plus vanilla music. New music plus vanilla music. Other files? No, thank you. Uh, recommendations? Not relevant. No readmes. Next. Next. Okay, I need. Oh, thank you. For lighting, you want enhanced lights and effects. Uh, the Lost Library, Legacy of the Dragonborn, Map Markers. Map Markers complete, already selected for us. Model Loot. We want a Model Loot Ultimate and Ultimate Simplified. Quest mods. Quests are in Skyrim. Sound mods. Audio overhaul. So, there's more options for us. So let's click next over here. And various mods, that's right here. We want artifacts, the tournaments of 10 bloods. We want bad gremlins collections. Um, we want cutting room floor already selected for us. We want interesting NPCs. Conrex accoutrements. Marisi's Tales of Trouble. I love that girl. Uh, snazzy furniture and clutter overhaul. WACCF, armor and clothing clutter extension. And weapons, armor, clothing, and clutter fixes. And then next. Next. Okay, read me. Uh, Winterhold City, nothing here. And uh, Archmage Quarters, nothing here. Next. Next. Uh... Asset patches, no thanks. Solitude Temple frescoes, no thanks. Next. Next. Important reminder. Let's install. Extract a BSA? No. Nope. Activate. 
special note. Please note to better dynamic snow, Lanterns of Skyrim 2, Master Tamara Lights, Mystic Condenser, and Tools of Kagnarak patch are not all needed as they are out of date and covered later in the guide. Good to know. Obscures College of Winterhold add-ons. We want uh, Arcanian Flying Books. That would be the second option. Download. Let's go ahead and install it. Good. Clean this up. Delete install downloads. Okay, next up, missives. This mod adds a large number of localized radiant quests found at missive boards of varying difficulty and with varying rewards. Let's go download that. Files. This is 2.03 SSE. Let's download it. Download it. Articulate JT. Click to install. Okay. So, uh, as I was recording a video, I forgot to install missives. So this is me uh, coming in later and inserting the video. Yes. Carry on. All right. Missives. World Space Editions. This is a compilation of patches for missives and several landscape mods. So let's go down with that. Okay, so we want the False Scar, Solstheim, and Worm's Tooth. False Scar. Solstheim. Worm's Tooth. Pretty sure we need the ESL one, but let's double check. Yeah, ESL. Download. So it's these are three different main files. We're going to install these as three different mods. So, Worm's Tooth. So, click scroll down. Worm's Tooth. Okay. False Scar. Scroll down. False Scar. And then Solstein. Scroll down. Solstein. Good. Then activate them. Okay, Emissive's Experience Patch. This mod changes quest given, quest givens by Emissive's to be more consistent with experience. So let's go download that. This is one of Dark Lady's uh, patches. Lexi's. Okay, so miscellaneous. And we're looking for a Missive's Experience Patch. So, Missive's Experience Patch here is click it, then click download. There we go. Install it. And as we see, it says Lexi's Legacy of the General Special Edition Guide Patches. We don't want that. Click, scroll down to Experience Patch. There. So it's named properly. Okay, not so fast. Main quest. We gotta convert it and we have to extract it. The BSA that is. So download. Download again. Okay, so let's install it. Hit OK. We're gonna extract the BSA, yes. Activate it. And then we're gonna open. You guessed it, creation kit. Should already be selected for us. Run. Let's open the folder, scroll down. Huh, for some reason it's up here, not at the bottom. We want the not so fast main quest. So it's right here. So locate not so fast dash main quest at ESP. Set as active and then okay. Alright, once it's fully loaded, click save. And close it. Excellent. Looks like I got a notification. Some missing masters. Oh, don't worry about that. We are, we are going to have missing masters. This is one of those things that, that the guy had warned you about. It all seems like things aren't working right or you're going to get these weird errors. But this is intended and this will sort itself out as you proceed through the guide. Okay. So next, not so fast, Mage Guild. Same thing. So we got to download it, extract it, convert it, and there's an additional step. We got to delete a script. But piece of cake. I'll show you how to do it. So let's go ahead and install it. Files, download. Good. Not so fast. Extract BSA, yes. So, well, let's go ahead and get rid of that script first. So open it in Explorer. Uh, click on scripts. And then we're going to look for QF underscore MG04. 
QF MG04. That's this one right here. So delete, close. Now let's go ahead and convert that plugin. Creation kit, run. Now let's open it. Okay, it's not at the bottom, so it's right here. It's probably because it's probably loading it here above these others here because one of these has a master dependency on one of these files, so that's why. So, not so fast dash mage guild dot esp. Double click it to select it and then set as active, and then OK. All right, once it's loaded, click save. Click the floppy. Saving done. Close creation kit. Okay, another one of my favorite mods, Provincial Courier Service. Skyrim's courier is an industrious young lad who can be seen all over the province, yet doesn't seem to have anywhere to live and or work. He seems able to find a Dovahkiin at will, but what if the player wanted to find him? Even if it would be a meaningless encounter, one should still expect a living, breathing NPC that takes part in the world to have some place to work at and call home. Yeah, And I love that uh, with uh, one of the newer updates, move this to be closer to the white run uh, stables. I just like that location so much more. So let's go ahead and install it. Another mod by Arthmore. Okay, download it. And let's install it. Provincial Courier Service, yes. Do we want to extract a BSA? No. Activate. Stackable Stones of Baron Zaya with optional quest markers. And we're going to extract that BSA. So let's download it. Files. Download it. Extract BSA? Yes. Alright. USSCP Bug Fix Incorporation to SSOB. This is a simple mod. Incorporates USSC bug fixes to stackable stones of error and Zaya. Uh, which version was it? Plus EBQO. That would be the second one. Install, boot. Okay, the choice is yours. Stop random greetings, comments, and rumors from triggering quests, as well as having forced encounters with NPCs automatically trigger at the start of a quest. Good. Okay. Extract it? No. The companions don't be a milk drinker. Restores honor to the companions by removing the option to be a bully. So let's download it. I think it's the focus only option we want, yes? Yes. Okay, activate. The notice board redefined adds real 3D paper and nail meshes with all new high res notes and wood textures to the notice board. And there's some additional steps that we need to do. All right, let's install the main file, the 4K version. Although, if you have any doubts about the VRAM uh, amount that you have on your on your GPU, um, feel free to install the 2K version. Still looks good. Otherwise, follow the guide, get the 4K version. So let's go ahead and install it. And let's do the additional steps. Inside the meshes folder, create a new clutter folder. So let's open this and open Explorer. So in the meshes folder, we're gonna create a clutter folder. So new folder, and it's called clutter. Inside the cl uh, clutter folder, create a missives folder. So new folder, and then missives. I'm like doubting my spelling skills. And then navigate to meshes. So let's go back into the root folder of this. So meshes, many, up, and then copy and paste, many, underscore up, notice board mesh, nif, that's this one, copy. And we're gonna uh, copy it into the new missives folder that we created. So clutter, missives, paste. And after doing that, we're gonna rename that to missivesboard.nif. So just do that, I'm just gonna copy here. Don't accidentally 
Highlight the little period at the end. Copy. Rename. Paste. There. Okay. Then copy and paste missives that nif. So copy. Paste. So we got a copy version of it. And then rename that to uh, missives board solstime.nif. So let's go ahead and hi uh, highlight that. Minus the period at the end. Copy. Rename. And paste. Boom. Okay. You should end up with a meshes folder, with a clutter folder, with a missives folder, with missives board.nif, and missives board solstime.nif. And we do. Good job, everyone. Activate. Parthenax Dilemma, disappointed with how ruthless and unforgiving the blades were at the end of the main quest. Felt like the Dovahkiin should have been able to put their foot down and make them see reason. Well, now they can. Let's install it. Do we want to extract a BSA? No. Timing is everything. This mod allows you to customize the starting conditions for various quests. This is a great mod. Not the fish fist version, huh? Oh, we do want the fist version. Good. Do we want to extract a BSA? No. Okay, Thieves Guild requirements. This mod makes it so Brynjolf, Brynjolf, will no longer automatically approach you in Riften. It also adds requirements that must be met in order to advance the Thieves Guild questline. We want the Fis version of that as well. Okay. Extract a BSA? No. Alright, all Thieves Guild jobs concurrently. This mod lets you take all take on all seven Thieves Guild jobs types at once instead of only one at a time from Delvin and Vex. Such a great quality of life mod. Good stuff. We have the USEP version. Files. USEP version. And we're going to uh, flag it as an ESL after we install it. So, install it. Activate it. Then open. SSC edit. So, drop down. SSC edit. Run. Right click. Select none. Scroll down, and we just want all these guild jobs concurrently. Check. Okay. And then let it load. Which mod group do you want? Don't worry about this. Just hit OK. Okay. Once it's loaded, click check mark. Click on file header. Right click right, uh, record flags. Edit. Countdown. Yes, I'm sure. ESL. Okay. And then go and close it out. And OK again. Ah, Legacy of the Dragonborn. Let's create that separator. Copy. Three dots. Create separator. Paste. Okay. Now we're going to install Legacy of the Dragonborn. By far my favorite mod. It gave so much more meaning to various things in the game itself. So let's go and download that. The main file, Legacy of the Dragonborn. This is a pretty big file, so it's going to take a bit. So download it. And this is a manual download. Download, save file, and then let it do it, let it do it. Yep, just under two gigabytes. Okay, let's install it. Install a new mod from an archive. Click, Legacy of the Dragonborn, open. And it should already be named first Legacy of the Dragonborn, and then OK. Extract a BSA? No, thank you. Let's go ahead and activate it. Now, Legacy of the Dragonborn cleaned textures. These are the textures of Legacy of the Dragonborn cleaned of compression, artifacts, and some bad overwrites. Two files, a main file and an update file. That means we're going to merge them together. So let's do the main file. We want the BC7 version. And that's just under two gigabytes as well. Then the blue fa uh, fabric fix, the update. Let's go and download that. So we have to wait for the first file to, the main file to finish downloading first. Okay, it's done downloading, so let's install the main file first. Fix the Dragonborn Clean Textures, okay. 
and then we're going to merge the blue fabric fix into the main file. To do that, all I have to do is make sure that the name is, is the same as the main file. I'm going to click OK. It's going to ask you if you want to merge it. Yes, you're going to merge it. All right, activate it. And I've got some notifications here. I've got something in my override fi uh, file. Let's go ahead and open that. Oops. Open. See, see, edit cache again. Okay. I'm not deleting these because this actually makes SSE edit load faster by keeping them. So it doesn't have to recreate these cache files. So I'm just putting it into the SSE edit cache folder that we created earlier. So open Explorer, paste. There. And I'm going to refresh it. Right, moving on. Legacy of the Dragonborn Quick Museum Shortcuts shortens two secret passages in Legacy of the Dragonborn as Hall of Secrets to the Curator's Guide. Good quality of life mod. Download main file. Install it. Activate. And I didn't endorse it, so I'm gonna go ahead and endorse it now if I can. And I can, good. Legacy Safehouse Plus adds additional room configuration options for purchase for Legacy of the Dragonborn Safehouse as well as a cabinet display for Dwemer dishware. Great for hoarders like me. I love reason, like reasons to hoard stuff. That's why Legacy of the Dragonborn is so amazing to me. Okay, let's install it. Legacy of the Dragonborn NPC Overhaul by 1N. Okay, we're gonna install the main file here. Okay, let's install it. Well, not yet. By the way, it says loot here. What this means is that there's gonna be a loot rule that we have to add to it, but that's gonna be at the end of the guide. Open up the full mod. If you want version one, install. and activate it. Vibrant Explorer's Guild Banner. This mod adds a vibrant version of the Explorer's Guild Banner. Sounds good. I'm with the first version. Let's go ahead and install it. And I'm going to endorse it if I can. And I can. Good. Legacy of the Dragonborn Fate Card Retexture Skyrim Concept Art. Good. Let's download that. Pretty cool textures. Install it. Okay. All right. Fossil mining with legacy support. This mod adds fossils that can be found randomly mi uh, while mining. Go ahead and install that. I can't wait to actually start playing this game again. Install it. Extract to BSA? No. Okay, fossil mining map markers. This mod adds 10 map markers to the excavation sites added by fossil mining located in Hot Springs area. Download the main area file. Okay, delete, install, download. Yes. Relic Hunter Legacy N S A E S L A L. I don't. This add on pa uh, packs. This add on pack for Legacy of Dragonborn Ultimate Start Living Another Life. Good. So two files: the main file and the optional file. So let's do that. Install it. Download it. And since it's an optional file, we're gonna install it as a separate mod. So first the main file, guild start, guild master start. Okay. Unpack the BSA? Mm hmm. No. And then install the grass patch. So drop down, grass patch. Okay. Then activate those. More DBM shipping crates, Dragon Board Museum. Download. And there's also two files we're downloading from here. So the main file and optional file. So let's install the main file. More DBM shipping crates, okay. Then Arthmore DBM shipping crates. 
separate uh, separate mod. So drop down to Arthmore DBM, good. Then activate them. Okay, Legacy of the Dragworm Museum shipment crates patch and even more crates for mods. So there's a bunch of uh, um, files we're gonna download here. So let's download. So first the main file, download. And just to keep things in order, I'm gonna go ahead and install that right away. Let's install the main file, activate it. Now we're gonna get Falskar, Forgotten City, Moon and Star, Moonpath to Elsewhere, Great Cowl of Nocturnal, and Worms Tooth Patches. So files, here we go. So Falskar, download. Forgotten City, download. Moon and Star, download that. Moonpath Elsewhere, download that. Grey Cowl Nocturnal, and Worm's Tooth. Okay, and since they're all optional patches, we're gonna install those as separate mods. So first one, doesn't matter which order. So go down to, this is the Worm's Tooth one. Then Moon Path Elsewhere, scroll down, Moon Path Elsewhere. Great Cal of Nocturnal. This is Moon and Star. Forgotten City. And Falskar. Okay, let's clean that out. And anyways, if you wanted to make this match up with the order here, just drag it, like I showed you before. So Falskar, Forgotten City, Moon and Star, Moonpath Elsewhere, Grey Cow, and watch to Go ahead and activate those. All right, moving on to Omega, the last part of Mod Installation Part 1. Let's go ahead and do it. Copy. Create separator. Paste. Okay. So Omega updated. In the vein of Yash, Inirim, Requiem, and more, Omega's design goal is to offer the best and most versatile gameplay overhaul available for Skyrim Special Edition. All right. So we're going to download the all-in-one. All-in-one updated. AIO. Alright. And there's a full mod. So let's expand that. Omega next. Next. Choose one A AIO mod. We want the MLU version. MLU. Moral Loot Ultimate. Next. Patches. Not here. <laughs> next. Choose any mods. And we want custom edits and mortal enemies. And we want populated ESP for choose a populated version. Next. All right, we want the default uncapper. Next. Choose an I and I. Next. We are not choosing an I and I. Next. So choose SJ patch. We want SJ's uh, Skyrim immersive creatures and Obis patch. Then in the next section, choose uh, the Omega MLU complete patches. We want the uh, SRCEO complete patch, and we want the Summer Mist complete patch. And in the next section, we want the MLU ZIA complete patch. And finally, the bottom section, we are not here for our Bruma patch. Next. Okay, so this is a pretty big selection here. So I'm going to go ahead and expand this. All right, so we want Apocalypse, we want Ordinator, we'll, we want Imperious, we'll, we want CE Immersive Sounds Compendium, we want Mortal Enemies and Obis, we want MLU AMB, MLU uh, CACO, MLU CCOR, MLU Improved Closed Faced Helmets, MLU Legacy of the Dragonborn Patch, Scroll down. We want Sacrosanct. We want Sky Test. We want WACCF. And we want SRCEO, Mortal Enemies. And we want uh, MACCF, 
ACE, SRCEO patch. And we want the Zia Legacy of Dragonborn patch. Scroll down for more options. Click next here. Choose uh, Artifact Overhaul. WACCF patches. And we are not here for any of that. Choose an encounter zone on Capper. Uh, we are not here for any of that either. Choose an encounter zone on Capper for BS Bruma. We don't want anything from there. Choose a KYE, Know Your Enemy, Kako patch. And uh, we don't want any of that. Choose an MLU Guards Armor. Uh, replacer patch. We're not here for that either. Then choose the MLU Immersive Sounds Companion patch. We want the MLU IS Seek patch, Legacy of Dragonborn. Then the last section here, choose a Zia Immersive Sounds Companion patch. Yes, we want the Zia Complete ISC patch. Next. Click next here as well. We want the Summer Mist MLU patch already selected for us. Apocalypse Adjustments. We're not here for that. Then install. Uh, you're going to get this weird error. The, the guy doesn't really mention anything here. And I've had this before. And it doesn't really hurt anything. So just click install anyway. Do you want to unpack the BSA? No. And also you'll see there's going to be a uh, rule added later on. I'm just pointing it out. But don't worry about it. You'll be reminded again at the end. So let's go and activate that. Omega MLU Consistency Patch. This is one of Dark Lady Lexi's. It's in the miscellaneous section. Download. Files. Miscellaneous section. The file is called Omega MLU Consistency Patch. So Omega. Right here, Omega MLU Consistency Patch. Click. Download. There we go. Install it. We don't want Lexi's experience.ini. Go down to MLU consistency patch. Good. Okay. And then activate it. And you know what, guys? You know what? We're done with part one of the mod's installation. In the next video, we are going to start part two. Good job, guys. I'll see you in the next video.